Hello, welcome to the last edition of Jank Tank for this season. And today we're going to be trying out Doom Foretold version 2. The newest card that we have for the deck is Case of the Stash Skeleton. It does actually quite well with the deck. It makes a token, check, so we can stack it for uh, Beseech the Mirror. Also, it's an, it has an enchantment to the other side. If somehow there's a reason we want to stack the enchantment for whatever reason, uh, it's most likely not the case, but stat curse case of the stash skeleton does seem like a good include for Doom Foretold. Now, if you like Doom Foretold, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification to for future videos. We're on our way to a thousand subs. Let's get there together. And if you want, comment down below and share this video. Let's get into the deck list and see the deck in action. So the deck list, I'm. I am going to be trying out three Tithing Blades for a little bit of removal that can be sacked. Two Oaths as another choice of removal spell. A mixture of Thoughtseize, which is pretty good. Right of Oblivion to help sack the cards we don't really care about, like Blessing. And then we have um, the Right of a Ganju, the Restoration of Ganju, which helps can help loot back our blades or our cases and stuff like that. And then we have Frixian Arena for the grinding matchups. We could tutor out with the Beseech the Mirror. Our choice of Wrath, of course, is Kay, uh, Kaya's Wrath. It's just a decent board wipe um, with no actual downside except for the fact that it's too white, too black, but that's okay. Sideboard, we have two Go Blinks for Graveyard Hate we could tutor out. Also does quite well against combo and uh, control. Two Eidolons of the Great Relic for combo. We also have Vanishing Verse for a little bit of removal that can exile. Two Rest in Peace for Graveyard Heat. Four Fatal Push for Aggro. Two Duress for Control. That is our Doom Foretold list. Let's see if the deck can compete in Pioneer. Brian Tap, say go. Island, passes. Swamp, Case of the Stash Skeleton, say go. Considers. So this might be... Phoenix. It is Phoenix. Slide a hand. And a Steam Vent. Passes. Play Shattered Sanctum. Play Treacherous Blessing. Shove for two. Say go. Considers. Island. Shredder. And what spell? And consider. Okay. Gets rid of a Treasure Cruise. And passes. Play an Island. Or Plains. Ironically, the Beseech gets cast, so it triggers Shredder. So I think I just shove and cast Doom Foretold and say go. There goes the Shredder. What does it consider? Opt. Tap Canal and Impulses. That's good. He gets back an Arclight Phoenix and hits me. So Foretold happens. We sack Blessing, a Shambling Vent. Play Restoration of the Ganju. Grab a plane. Say go. He has to sack the Phoenix. Go ahead and he mills. Gets an opt. Plays that set opt. Still only has one Phoenix. And treasure cruises. Gets back the Phoenix. And attacks. Sack the Restoration. Pathway on black. We'll go ahead and Tithing Blade. Just so I can have it as a sack outlet. For my Beseech. And of course, I think we grab Shieldred. Sago. So Doom Foretold sacks itself. We drain them. It's like a Lava Spike, Lava Axe, and an Impulse Island. Three mana. And takes an extra turn. Alright, so he basically he's taking an extra turn, extra land drop, plus another three points of damage and a draw. Unless he magically top decks something good here. Shredder. Opt. Gets rid of a spell pierce. Slide a hand. Hits me. Another land. Crack the case. Cast blessing. Cast that said blessing. And draw. Cast a case. And pass the turn. Got rid of a canal. We go to ten. He could hit me for five. We have a lot of lands though. Shoves in there for five. We go to five. And passes. Shambles. Turn on the shambles. Go to combat. Kills my shambles. Shove. Play a blessing. 
Okay, I guess we lose. All right, so we bring in all of this stuff. Vanishing Verse, also pretty good. Rest in peace. You have eight cards. Star probably has to go because of rest in peace. I kind of want to keep a Kaya just because it's nice to have. Probably down to Restoration. Arena. Tithing Blade. Maybe more Restorations. All the Restorations. Maybe one Thought Seize. I don't like that. Play Fortress. They go. Canal. Slide a hand. Passes. Mirex. Birth. Say go. Ottawara. Passes. Make a wall. Planes. Cast Blessing. Negate. Okay. Slide a hand. Island. Passes. Play Godless Shrine. Case. Case. Say go. Free the Fae. Shredder plus probably a loot. Yeah. Slide a hand. We play a Sanctum. A Doom Foretold. Shove in there. Say go. Opt. Theme Vents. Snipes a Skeleton. And a Free the Fae. There's one Phoenix in the yard. So we have to sack a case. Play a Blade. Play a Blessing. Go to combat. Shove. Say go. Pick Lock. Prankster. Prankster. Sanctum. Beseech. Sack Skeleton. So he has two cards in hand. I don't think I need to do this multiple times. Like long term. Like with Rest in Peace. So I think I just go blank. Snipe his hand and uh, his graveyard. And pass the turn. Crackles. That's a good hit. So now we get to solve this, which allows us to get our children. Of course, he has a lot of redraws. So he, he draws an opt and gets a pathway and passes. Turn off Fortress. Shove. Pass the turn. Shredder. Eat the Shredder. He should be attacking me for two. Turn on the vent or Fortress. Go to combat, shove, play, tithing blade, say go. Considers, considers, scoops it up. We run it back. Canal, slide a hand, and passes. Fortress, that's, that's an okay top deck. We'll lead off with a thought seize. Take, prankster, say go. Hall, shredder, passes. That's a little rough. Blaine's birth. Say go. I guess I should have just bladed. Pathway and red. Shredder. And an opt. We know, okay, he does not have a phoenix. In, I mean, an axe anymore. And gets rid of another shredder. Attacks in there for two. We make a wall. Play a fortress. Blade. Say go. Young pyromancer. And an opt. Hit me for three. We take it. 13. Planes. Rest in peace. And then pass the turn. First, the Pyromancer. Free the Fae. We got rid of a Crackling Drake. That's good. He can get back a charm. Plays a coast. Yes, is it charm up? Attacks in there. We block. I guess if you have. Impulse doesn't even kill it. So I'm fine. Play case. Say go. Ops. Is it charms? But in loot, hits me for five. Play a, a mirror axe. Go ahead and drop down Doom Foretold and play a birth. Let him go ahead and draw. Then the deck, say go. Actually, we will attack. Now he has to sack the Shredder. Ops. Plays a pathway. He's getting closer to turn on the hall, which I guess is his primary win con now. No attacks and passes. So we will sack the. Blade. Play a planes. Turn on the fortress. Shove. Say go. So we sack the doom foretold. Light a hand. Scoops it up. 1 0. Let's get into the next. Prime tap. Say go. Forest passes. Murex. Birth of Melithus. Melithus. We'll grab a planes. Say go. Haven passes. Make a wall. Play the Sanctum. Play Restoration of the Ganju. Say go. Grab a planes. 
tribute to the world tree passes. So we gain a couple life. We throw away the fortress. Get back the fortress. Thoughtseize. Take Cav. Play a Plains. Thoughtseize. Take a Tribute. They go. Invasion. Get to nick those. Tribute. So Restoration flips. We have enough black. We will cast back the wall. Doom for Toll seems bad. I guess we just get a Shelly and say go. Which is pretty good, right? Because he draws a lot of cards off of Tribute. Well, it hurts. There's a Reborn, which sprocks two draws. And we drain him. Castle. Kiora. Untaps Nykthos. Could flip the Pelucranos. And he does. Plays a Pelucranos to draw a couple. Three cards. Takes six. And passes. So we gain... We're going to gain a decent chunk this turn. So we Blessing. Gain six. Play Sanctum. Beseech away the Blessing. Right of Oblivion. Targeting Pelucranos. Stacking Architect. Shove at the face because he has to block. Yeah, I think we got this game. I guess he could flip. No, yeah, no, he can't, right? He, he has to take it, so. Uh, he plays any card, though, that triggers Tribute. He loses. Storm the Festival. Uh, new Kiora. That's a sad storm. Storms again, I take it. But the problem is you gotta you can't really play a creature. Plays a gets a Vivian and a new Kiora. Untaps Nykthos. Does it again. Another storm. And an invasion. This time he gets a another Kiora. Still has one more storm in the yard. I guess he can get exactly a leveler. Haven. The issue is Haven doesn't even do it, right? Because he gets two counters. And the second one's going to trigger and make him draw. Thanks to 3-3, but that kills him. Okay. We bring in Burst over the Blade. Oath is also kind of mediocre. Maybe a Kaya and a Go Blank? I think I do want two pushes. So I can answer a, a Elf. Run it like that. Elf. Passes. We play Swamp. Say go. Forest. Troll. Passes. Play the Swamp. Play the Case. Say go. Invasion. That's good. So that means he really doesn't have a lot this turn that he can do. And attacks. Flips the Invasion. And passes. Play a Mirax. Right of Oblivion. The Troll to get rid of his devotion and pass the turn solve the case play the forest another invasion cityscape leveler that's really good for him for the future shoves in there for five all right take it uh we got one point of damage that me fortress doom foretold seems bad i can't really beseech unless they put this on black which is really gonna set me back if I go tutoring this turn, this gains indestructible. I could vanishing verse it, but that just seems like a waste of a case. So I, oh, I guess I, if I play fortress, like yeah, if I play fortress, that means I'm forced to playing blessing and passing. Cavalier gets a forest, plays a forest, smacks me for eight, and passes. Sack the Blessing. Alright. Pray he doesn't have a spell. Alright, that resolves. Puts another cab on top. But I could deal with the cab, right? Doom foretold and deal with a single one of creature. So he plays that said cab. Plays a Garenbrig. Passes. I think I need a Doom foretold. Thought sees away the ca the leveler. Play a bent said go. We're stabilizing. Targets the leveler. Redraws the leveler. And leveler? Are we gonna get rid of my... Both things are good, decent targets. It's my Doom Foretold. Play another Doom Foretold. Play this on white. And cast a Restoration of a Ganju. Then my deck. Say go. 
He definitely could bring it back one turn, attack me to two. But that's essentially his entire turn. Goes to combat, hits me to two. So our best bet at this point is to gain as much life as we can. Uh, we will throw away a case. Get back that set case. Play a planes. I need to turn on the vents. I totally mistapped. That's fine. Shove in there. Yeah, I definitely should not tap both my swamps. I needed to turn that thing on. Play a second restoration of a Gaju. Get a planes. Say go. Cavalier. And a Palooker nose. So that flips. We'll put the planes into play. Doesn't really matter. Um, Get rid of the Palooker nose. Sacking the skeleton. What? I wanted to cast my Shelly. Back. Case. Get a Vanishing Verse. Say go. Plays an Invasion. That's just adjective. That's very aggravating. Plays a Forest. Wait, when did he get a Leveler? Okay. I guess it doesn't even matter. Up a push, down a star field. Run it like that. Swamp. Say go. Forest. Elf. Put that on white. Play a case. Say go. Castle. Charm. Passes. Play Frixie and Arena. And shove. Say go. Kiora. Untap a forest. Tribute. We get to draw. No lands. I guess hit the Kiora. And snipe the Mystic. Say go. Haven. Six mana. Untaps. Ten mana. Leveler. Blows up my case. Restoration of a Ganju. Play a Plains. And I guess attack. Kiora, say go. Storm. Reborn. Forest. Invasion. Mystic. Tribute. And attacks. Gets rid of my re resto. We go to 10. A tap land is not what I'm looking for. I guess that means I have to besiege. Oh, I can't. So there's nothing I can do with about a leveler then. The Doom foretold he's just going to sack an L, which is meaningless. Okay. All right. One and one. Let's get into the next. Mana Confluence. Gaze. So we definitely going to play a tap land turn one. So we'll play Fortress, they go. Cool gaze. What what is this? Is this just dredge? Roots. Okay. Soul tie dredge with the roots. Kaya doesn't seem very good. So we put that on planes on white, I guess. Play birth. Get a plane, say go. Play the a gaze. Creeping Jill. Tome scours himself. Necromi Necromibas. So those do trigger roots. And he gets ghouls back, which they're individual triggers. We make a pesky 0-4 wall. Now what? That's a 4-5. Play a planes. Oath? Snipe the 2-3 one? Say go? Another gaze. Flashback. Another creeping chill. And a salvage. Attacks out. Go, go, wall. Go to 5. <laughs> And plays a sewers. He has another ghoul. How is he gaining so much life? We gain two, I guess. Play a Urborg. Now it's like too late to even bother, right? Sack the oath. But yeah, the skeleton can't block, so scoop it up. Alright, so we have go blank. Pressed in peace. Maybe verse. What are we going down? Definitely Starfield. Arena. Probably up the wrath. These individual stack things aren't going to help. And probably some number of cases. And run it like that. We take roots, say go. Mana confluence. Gazes. Gets rid of a ghoul and amalgam. That's not a bad curve out for next turn. We play rest in peace, say go. Overgrown tomb. Passes. Put that on, I guess, black. Blessings, say go. Besage use my rest in peace. 
So that means I think we get a shrine untapped and draw some cards. We thought sees. Take the tome scour. They go. Here comes oh roots. What a top deck for him. And plays a stitcher supplier. Gets a necromoeba. Makes a one one two. And passes. I can't double spell. So this is the turn to play a shrine. I think I have to play it in my hand here. Play a foretold. Say go. So he sacks this the stitcher supplier. And crippling chills me to nine. So we do get to Othakaya away something. And gets a heat back. And grows the plant to a 3-4. We got a 5. Uh, here comes a more life. Uh, yeah. We sack the blessing. Uh, <laughs> a land. Okay. Oath. We snipe the 2-3. Sanctum. All land. Say go. Maybe I just need to be playing uh, Yorion. Saxon Necromoeba. But we're just so dead. We're so dead. Like, we, we just can't even combat this. Goes to combat. So he swings in there. Did he just swing in for Xaxes? No, he went full blast. But that's okay. Minus two. One and two? Still, the deck feels pretty awesome and sweet. Um, let's get into the wrap-up. So what did we learn this week about this deck overall? We went one and two. Not the greatest track record. But then again, that Dredge deck was pretty quick at executing his game plan. You could be watching this video right now. You know, you, know, you never know. Um, but the next season's coming up. Hopefully, we have some sweet decks for you guys there. And if you are interested in playing, seeing his dredge deck, I might just play it just for a bonus video at some point. Um, whether it be uh, just to a free episode on my Patreon or whatever. So that way we can get a little bit of hype for it. But if you do want to help support my, my content, the link is down in the description. It's $20 or $5, depending on what you want to donate. $20 gets your name going to be featured at the end in a, uh, you know, um, scrolls credits. So if you're interested in any of that, supporting my work, um, locals and uh, the Patreon is in the description. If you have any suggestions at all for this deck, let me know down in the comment section. The one card I didn't think was necessary is probably going to be Starfield of Nyx. Probably going to be cut at some point. The other thing, um, I'm still trying to decide uh, about Othakaya. That seems kind of weak a lot of the time. Three mana, it's not really giving me card advantage or giving me anything to help grind through the matches. So that's something that's kind of lackluster in the deck so far. Uh, maybe I should just be playing Bank Buster or something like that. But if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. Should this deck be a Yorion deck? That's something I'm also kind of considering. But until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your week. Talk to you soon.